What's going on guys? Got another shop tip video for you. This one's very simple and easy to do and uh, relatively inexpensive as well. Uh, especially if you already got one of these portable air tanks. Uh, it just takes a few dollars worth of fittings uh, to change it over like I'm about to show you. And uh, this one I've actually already done. I'll just kind of talk through what I did. But uh, it's always kind of boggled my mind uh, why these didn't come from the factory this way to begin with. Uh, as it really increases the usefulness and versatility uh, of these air tanks. Uh, and one thing that it does most of all, or above anything, is that it allows you to use the hose uh, that comes with it to actually fill the tank. Uh, you know, without this modification, uh, I've got to search around my shop and uh, maybe find, uh, you know, my filler fitting for my air compressor, uh, you know, doing it this way, I've always got the hose with the tank. Just take it off, hook it up to my main air hose on my main compressor, fill the tank, and then I can plug this back in and uh, be ready to use it to maybe add a pound or two to a car tire, uh, maybe the well pressure tank in my house, or, uh, you know, whatever tires or odds and ends I might have to fill. Uh, you know, I can just put the hose back on and do it. Uh, another nice thing is that now uh, with this fitting on there, I can put either a longer hose on if I need. Uh, although this being so portable, uh, short hose is usually just fine, uh, unless maybe you got to go up a ladder or something. But uh, also lets me put other uh, air tools and accessories on the hose. Uh, such as maybe a blow gun if I got to blow something off. Uh, you know, obviously you're not going to get a vast volume or amount of air out of these, but uh, for smaller jobs, uh, you know, sometimes uh, just a little burst with an air gun uh, is all you need. And uh, you know, you can even uh, put a quarter turn valve on that. Uh, you know, there's other applications you can do with these types of tanks, uh, but just keeping it simple and cheap here. Uh, this is what I did. So uh, the way most of these are set up, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you got your Schrader valve on one end with a little twist valve there, screw valve, uh, to give your airflow, you know, your on or off for your airflow. Got your pressure gauge, and then you have uh, normally an air hose like this uh, for filling tires or Schrader valves. And uh, normally uh, on... All the ones I've ever seen, they're about quarter inch NPT. So uh, if you want to just take that hose off, normally there's a male nipple on there. Uh, get yourself an industrial quick disconnect fitting. Uh, or really, you can use any brand you want. The most common are the industrial configuration. Uh, those look like this. Uh, they make them where these are longer, shorter, have you know different styles of lips and things on them. Uh, most people use the industrial, and that's what you'll find at your big box stores. But uh, get a female threaded uh, male industrial fitting. Put on the hose like so. A little bit of dope or Teflon tape for leaks. And then you can get a male threaded uh, quarter inch MPT quick disconnect for this. And these are quarter inch size. Uh, I don't really think you need to go bigger or smaller than that. Again, as far as common sizes of air hoses and tools and things, uh, that's what you're going to have. And uh, just put the male fitting on the hose, female fitting on your valve splitter there. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And again, now I can take this off, plug it into a air hose, fill my tank, plug it back in. Uh, I can put a different air hose on it with an air gun. Uh, I could probably even run a small brad nailer with this uh, a couple of times before there wasn't enough air to uh, sink the head of the nail all the way. But uh, just any number of applications uh, where maybe you don't want to drag a portable or not so portable air compressor around. Uh, if you just need a few pounds of air or a few PSI to do something with, uh, I think that's a much better way to get set up. And uh, all for, again, less than $30 uh, for something like this. So uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tip. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.